all right now for us to initialize this camera that we have here we're going to select the particular camera click on initialize here now it says that device has not been initialized yes so we want to initialize this particular device what do we do if you come down here you will see initialize button here so we're going to click on it now it's asking us for a password and the username now remember from our search settings the default password was admin admin okay so like i said you can change the default password and give it to your cameras but if you remember we do not tamper with the default password so i'm going to still leave it admin admin email address important in case maybe you forgot this password you want a uh, password recovery you can input an email here for your password recovery but for this video i'm not going to use email but it's very important like i said so next it's any password length can't be less than eight bytes okay so let's increase okay now for auto update you can check this i don't need any auto updates now if you need auto update on the cameras you can check this but for this since i don't have any router i don't have any internet access so it's just a training class i don't need auto update so i'm going to uncheck it and click on ok now it says that one device has been activated that means our camera has been initialize now if you watch it marked good okay so if i click on finish we come back here this have automatically changed from uninitialized to initialized so now what do we do next our ip uh, address is still of 192.168.1.1 remember our purpose is to change this ip address from this default to an ip that is on the same class with this okay so come to edit for us to be able to change this come to edit now it's now asking you for target ip okay so let's say 192 168 1 dot 2 since this is our first camera so let's say 192.168.1.2 okay now it can be anything it can be dot 10 it can be whatever so if you want to give your cameras uh numbers maybe ranging from 10 20 30 40 50 just like that it depends on you if you want to give it two four six it can depends on you. if you want to give it serially one two three four five it depends on you okay now subnet mass is a uh, two five five. Remember this is class C IP address. So subnet mass of class C is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay. Now, like I said, we don't have a router here, so we don't need any gateway for this. Okay. Now, remember, this is static IP address I'm giving to this. If I ask this guy. To select IP address automatically, this is DHCP. To select IP address automatically, then it's going to automatically choose any IP address it wants from the range which you have given here. If you remember, I explained something in this search setting from the first uh, from the first minutes of this video. I explained something on this search settings where you can set a pool of IP addresses. That your cameras can pick up ip addresses from okay we are setting this statically like i said if i have up to 100 cameras here i can set them to select ip automatically from the range which we have here but in this particular case i'm going to give it my own preferred ip address which is 192.168.1.10 okay now let's click on okay said ip address gateway or subnet mask is not valid okay it's requiring gateway all right let's just give it a gateway but remember gateway is just it's just an access to the internet we don't have internet here 
but maybe in case in future you want to give your camera a network remember this gateway okay do you can still modify this uh, settings anytime so remember this gateway in future if you want to give your camera a network that is using a router okay so this is 192.168.1.1 so let's leave the gateway this way okay so this sign here is still showing us Result. So let's click on it and see. It's telling us that the is telling us now that our former IP address is one nine two one six eight one dot one zero eight with this port number here, and uh, operation type uh, modify IP, operation result password error. Now let's see where it's coming from. From here, let's see if we can change this. Let's just change this and see. Let's give it the same password. Admin. Okay. So let's refresh. Let's modify once more. okay so now it's showing good okay so our mistake was that we are given a different uh we're giving a different uh username and password from the initial one that is why it was showing us result error okay but somebody will tell me that yes it's still showing 108 yes it's still showing if we refresh if we refresh this it comes back to our assigned ip address okay so this is our assigned ip address which is 192.168.1.10 okay so if i plug in this camera now to my nvr which i'm going to do now we'll see the camera showing all right so let's go to the screen and see how this camera is going to display on the screen Okay, so I've already inserted my camera to the NVR. So let's search for the camera. So go to main menu, camera, camera list. Okay, and search. So you can add manually, manually add. Since we know the IP address, you can add it manually, or you can automatically search for the camera. So let's say search. Now, if you watch, our camera have displayed here, 191.681.10. So this is the camera which we just uh, configured using the Dawa config tool, okay? So if I select this camera and add, it's going to add it here. So see, this guy changed to green. Our camera will not display. Now it has changed to green, okay? So if we go back now, we'll see that our camera have displayed it's now among this. Let me increase it to four. This is a uh, channel. Okay, so this is our camera here. Okay, so this is it. Let me enlarge it. So this is the camera we just configured now. On my side so now begin so that's all about uh, uh today video now if you observe very well it is advisable if you have a uh, multiple cameras of the same technology that has the same ip address it's advisable before you insert them to your nvr you configure it using your using the particular technology config tool, okay, just like what we did now. Now, there are other 
configuration is can still do with this config too like when you have multiple camera we can do something called like the batch modification so instead of you to be configuring all your cameras one after the other if you have like 60 to 100 cameras instead of you to be configuring them one after the other there's a procedure in which you can use to do a batch modification of those ip addresses okay i'm still going to drop a video on that okay and like i said i'm going to do the same type of video for other technology like heat vision like poly vision like you know any most of the technologies once i get my hands on them i'm going to do a video and you see how they have been done okay now there are still other ways you can initialize your newly uh bought cameras like you can see initialize them using your nvr not only the system you can initialize them using your phone your mobile phone you can also initialize them using your tablet so i'm still going to make out time to do videos on all this type of initialization so uh if you have any question if you have any challenge at all if there's anything you want me to review back or you are confused about in this video i just did now don't forget to drop it in the comment section below our whatsapp group link is on the description below join the group there are experts and beginners that have different challenges different questions they drop in that group you can learn a lot from the group so like i said if you have any challenge or any other question you want to ask me pertaining to the video drop it in the comment section below i'm going to attend to it don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it with your friend that need to know more about uh, this ip camera thank you guys and let's meet in our next video